Welcome YouTubers to a quick video I've made here about how to orbit Kerbin in the game Kerbal Space Program. If you've never played Kerbal Space Program before, it's a nitty game where the idea of the game is you build rockets out of various parts through fuel tanks, engines, capsules, etc. and then you launch your craft into space. Once there, you can go to the moon um, you can orbit the Kerbin, which is, for all intents and purposes, Earth. Um, and then in the newest release, there are other planets as moons as well further out in the solar system that you can explore. The idea of this video is to give beginners, or people coming back to the new version, just an idea of how to get into orbit around Kerbin. And future videos will explain how to get to the moon and beyond from there. So to begin with, we have our rocket here on the launch pad. It is a very simple design, um, and I built it just for the purposes of this video. Um, it doesn't have any landing uh, gear. Um, it's not going to get all the way to the moon. Um, the idea of it is just to get into orbit easily with plenty of spare fuel. So I can show you guys some stuff you can do while you're up there. So without further ado, we will go ahead and get started. One of the neat things about this new version, um, which will be 0 0.17, is you can actually fly the craft from inside the vehicle from the um, little Kerman's um, perspective. You'd have to be very good at flying just by your gimbal here, um, which I'm not that great at, so I'm not going to attempt it. Um, but in the uh, small little craft that we're flying in here, the single-seater, um, you just got the one window. Um, but in, uh, in space, it's pretty neat to look out and see the stars, uh, but I prefer to fly it in the uh, in the traditional view. We're beginning to get close to the point I would like to be at, which is where our AP here, our apoapsis, uh, reaches about 120,000, which it just did. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off our engines. Now your AP, the apoapsis, is the highest point of your trajectory whenever you're flying. So we will get to that point, at which our momentum will no longer be strong enough to carry us up, and the gravity of Kerman will take over and pull the ship back down towards the planet. So what we'll do is we will roll to 90 degrees, a right angle, which would take us parallel to the equator of the planet, and we will again burn our engines at that point, which will give us an elliptical orbit around Kerbin. So I will turn on our thrusters, our RCS, and turn off our SAS, which is stabilization, which is what keeps the ship going smooth and steady and I'll roll to 90 degrees and reorient myself to make it a little easier so left is left, right is right, etc.
All right, now we're set just about on 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and check back, zoom back out and check our map, see just how close we are to the top point. I want to start our engines just before we get there to make sure I give myself some space so I don't fly a little too far. And that's actually pretty good. Um, so we'll go ahead and burn now, and then after I start the burn, you'll see that this begins to expand from a very narrow line here to a very wide one. Eventually, we will go all the way around the planet. As you can see there, you're beginning to expand that, which will eventually become circular around the planet. And we get in the final stage. Now as the, or the elliptical orbit begins, you'll see the apoapsis will switch over here. This here will be your periapsis, which is the lowest point on our journey. I'll go ahead and cut the engines off, as obviously we have a nice orbit here. Now these two are important. Anytime you burn here at the PE, at the periapsis, what this will do is expand the apoapsis, and vice versa. If I was to burn, once we got over to the apoapsis, the periapsis would expand. Let's go ahead and do that and see if we can make more of an even circle. I'll go ahead and warp time to get us over there a little faster. In case you're wondering, some of this other stuff here is just debris from other ships. I was messing around with different designs for different things, getting to different planets, moons, etc. Alright, I'll go ahead and slow us back down since we're approaching our apoapsis and jump back down into the view. And since our ship is free falling, you can see it's kind of all cockeyed in the wrong way. So, we'll go ahead and get us turned around real quick back on 90 degrees. All right, there we go, back on 90 degrees. So if I can begin to burn, and I'll burn a little slower here, you begin to see that expand while well, this stays roughly the same. We'll expand that out until it gets to just about 750, 760,000. That's close enough. And that gives us, you know, a roughly circular orbit right around Kerbin. In future videos, I'll show you how you can take this orbit and get to our friend over here, the moon, which as you see, one of my ships is, is already landed there from another earlier test, um, where unfortunately the poor soul was stranded without enough fuel to get back. So I didn't attempt to take off and get him killed. Now that you're in space, there's a couple neat things you can do as we fly around Kerbin here in our pretty wide orbit. You can now go on EVAs with your little guys, and uh, they have jetpacks, fully functional jetpacks and everything. We'll go ahead and do that now. We click on the crew hatch to do that. And then press EVA next to our Nelski Kerman, who is our adventurous pilot. 
The capsule will have these uh, these little stairs here that when your guys near them, they can grab onto. We press the R key, and he will start his little jetpack up, and away we go. In this view, you kind of have a more of a mouse look. Wherever you're going, um, your guy will begin to travel that direction. Um, it's normal WASD, W forward, S back, obviously A and D side to side. Shift will move you up, while Control will move you down. And you have a you have a limited supply on your jetpack, which you can see by right-clicking on your jetpack, and it will go down as we fly around space here. And kind of give us a view of Kerbin. That way you can see the moon and the sun, which you can also revolve around. And so I'll go out into map view. This would be Kerbin. This would be the moon. And this would be Minmus, which is another moon that uh, was recently added to the game, um, which you can go to as well. And all these are revolving around Kerbin. As we zoom out further, you see Kerbin is just revolving around the sun. Um, they added these other planets here, Eve, Moho, Duna, as well as Jewel. And you can go to all these planets and these different planets have moons of their own. So you zoomed in here you'll see Jewel, which would be Jupiter and its many moons here. So as you can see, they've added a lot to the game if you've played, if you haven't played in a while, and if you're new to it, there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, there wasn't even a moon for a long time. Um, we at least have that. Um, but now there's many planets, and I, I imagine uh, eventually there'll be lots of other things we can do. So while we took our little journey around the solar system, good old Nelski here decided to drift way away from his spaceship, so we'll get back to that. Sort of looks like Nelski may have been drinking before he went up on this flight. All right, and Nelski has made it back. So that about does it for this video here on how to get into orbit around Kerbin. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. Um, and if you liked the video, um, go ahead and give us a like, and please subscribe. This is a brand new channel that me and a couple of my friends are doing. We're going to have things, uh, we're going to have, uh, hope to have hardware reviews, um, play lots of games, um, Sometimes it'll be tutorials like this. Sometimes it'll just be uh, playthroughs of what we're doing. Um, try, you know, new games when they come out. Try to give you a perspective of kind of like an everyday man. Um, not to get too into it. Um, down to the nitty gritty. But just kind of give you the basics you need to know. Um, you know, if it's, is it good, is it bad? How does it play? How does it run? Um, that kind of stuff. So like I said, if you like it, please uh, tell your friends. Uh, give us a like. Hit subscribe. And we'll see you again. Thanks for watching.